Hello and welcome to the 17th scripting tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to be talking to you about loops now. So um, there are many different types of loops. Um, actually no, there's about, yeah there's three different types of loops, three of them. In this tutorial I'm going to be talking to you about the while loop and the repeat loop. So two of them. In the next tutorial I'm going to be talking to you about the third kind of loop. And in the tutorial after the next tutorial I'm going to be talking to you another bit about loops but it's not a new loop, it's something to do with loops, so yeah. So two more tutorials after this about loops. Okay, so let's begin. Uh, first, you know what a loop is, like in normal language you know what the word loop means. It just means to, you know, to circle around the same thing or over and over and over again. Uh, yeah, that's the same thing in scripts, that's what loops do, they just loop over a, a bit of code over and over and over again until you tell it to stop. So Let's go ahead and make a while loop. Uh, while loop. So you just write the word while. So whatever um, loop you're making, just type the name of it first. Like with functions as well, you just type. You type if you're making a function, just type the word function, then the function name. Uh, if you're making an if statement, type the word if. If you're making a while loop, type the word while, and it should go blue. Yeah. Make sure it's all lowercase. Like you don't want capital W. It won't go blue then. You want it to go blue. So while. W H I L E. Good, good. So, this is how we create our while loop. Now, this is how while loops work. They kind of like if statements. You've got a condition in the middle. Um, we've got while, then we've got a condition, then we put the word do next to it. But in in the middle, we need our condition. So let's just stick the end on there first, so we know how we've, we've structured it. We've got while, then our condition in the middle, then do whatever you want to loop over over and over again, and then end. So let's talk about what the condition is. Um, in, in if statements you've got a condition, you know, if something something then do this. Same thing in a while loop, you've got a condition, so if 5 is bigger than 9 then loop, okay? So 5 is not bigger than 9 so it's just going to skip the loop. So what it's going to do first, it's going to, first let me create a variable, let's call, let's call it um, pod. pod equals 1, okay? So while pod is less than 5 do and then end okay so don't try this yet because it will just crash your studio um, the problem with loops is if you don't do it right you're going to like crash the studio you're going to crash your window so we don't want to do that we want to make it right so so do what I do make a variable uh, set it equal to 1 and go while pod e is less than 5, what this is going to do is it's going to say while this variable here pod if the value inside it is less than 5 we're going to loop, okay? it is less than 5, it's equal to 1 so that means we're going to loop um, what it's going to do is it's going to let me just print pod, let me just print the variable okay so we're just going to print the value in pod so this is what we're going to do, we're going to say okay it's less than 5 now print pod, okay um, and then it's going to go to the end, but because it's a loop, it's going to go back up to while. It's going to go. It's going to skip back up to line number five, and say, okay, is pod still less than five? If it is, then loop this again. Okay, and go back to while. Is it still less than five? Loop again, and that's what it's just going to keep doing. So we need to change the value of pod so that it just it doesn't get stuck in an infinite loop. If it gets stuck in an infinite loop. That means it's just going to crash your window, it's just going to crash Roblox Studio, and you'd have to restart it. So we don't want infinite loops, we want to try and avoid infinite loops by changing the value of pod so that it becomes more than 5. Okay? So if pod remains less than 5 forever, because we're not changing the value of pod in here, it's going to stay 1. If we're just going to you know, keep the value of pod 1, it's going to be less than 5 forever it's just going to be stuck in an infinite loop, it's going to keep looping over and over and over again until it crashes. So let's go ahead and change the value of pod so pod equals pod minus 1. Okay, so that's you know how we actually know we want plus. Okay, so pod equals plus pod plus 1 we're just going to add 1 onto our variable pod so pod will equal to 2 after this loop. So what it's going to do is it's going to say while pod is less than 5 do, okay, it is less than 5 so let's print pod it should print 1, then we're going to go pod equals pod plus 1, so now pod equals 2, go go back up to the loop, is pod less than 5, no it's equal to 2, so print pod again, add, add 1 to pod, so pod is now 3, it's going to keep doing that until it's 4, 
then what it's going to do is it's going to add pod again, it's going to be 5, and then it's going to go up to the while loop and say, is pod less than 5? No, it's equal to 5. So we're just going to go back to the end, we're not going to print anymore, and we're just going to carry on with our code, okay? So let's go ahead and close this and press play. You can see we've printed 1, 2, 3, and 4, but not 5, because once pod is equal to 5, it's not less than 5 anymore. Therefore, it's just going to skip the loop, okay? If we did, if pod is less than or equal to 5, then it will print 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, okay? So let's just play it and it should print 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Okay, so you, you get now how, how that works. If we were to do, um, if I were to set the value of pod to 5, then it would, let's, no, let's set it to 6. It would say, okay, pod is not less than or equal to 5, it's more than 5. So we're just going to skip this loop, we're not going to bother with it. Let's just go to line number line number nine and carry on with the code okay so that's what that's what it will do so as long as this condition is true it will run okay while the condition is false so as you can see it's six now therefore the condition will be false because pod is equal to six it's no longer less than or equal to five it's equal to six so the condition is false therefore it will just skip the loop and it's not going to bother print anything but if pod is equal to say three or even five it still meets the requirements of the condition therefore making it true so now the condition is true because pod is less than or equal to 5 in this case it's equal to 5 if I set it to 4 it would be less than 5 so it still be the condition will still be true and therefore it just run it run this loop it keep adding 1 to pod and then until when, when pod is le uh, greater than 5 then it will say okay it's false and uh, let's skip let's go ahead of the code okay so that's what it does then, that's what it does and also if we put, I'm not sure if you've seen it before you have probably have if you've been playing around a free model script but if you've seen the word while tr if you've seen the words while true do next to each other this is basically just an infinite loop that's what it does it's, uh, hold on there's noise here uh, oops sorry about that I just had to pause it for a while but anyway where were we, okay while true do loops so what this does is it says well, while true do. Therefore, this condition in the middle will always be true because we've just stuck the word true in there, and therefore this loop would just run infinitely. Now, this is um, infinite loops is good for a reason. Say you have a script, uh, like a game script, like a mini game script, and you just want rounds to keep coming up. You never want the script to end, do you? You want you want mini games to constantly keep running as long as the server is open. So therefore, you'd use something like while true do loop. Okay. But the thing is, because you haven't got a weight in there, it's just going to keep looping around and around and around, and it's just going to overload and kind of crash your studio. So what you want to do is stick a weight in there, so it will wait one second before looping again. So let's go ahead and print uh, waiting. Okay. So what it's going to do is it's going to say, "Well, true do." Okay. So this is condition is always true. It's just going to this is going to run forever now. The script is just going to always run forever until it crashes, obviously. But it's going to say, okay, the condition is true because we just stuck the word true in there. No need to compare anything. Uh, no need to say it's pod bigger than two. I mean, that would still be true because pod is bigger than two. But instead of comparing anything, we've just stuck the word true in there, therefore making it true all the time. So we're going to print waiting, we're going to wait one, we're going to skip back up to here, say, okay, it's still true, print wait, it's still true, print wait, and forever. So let's just go ahead and try that, press play, and it just keeps printing waiting every second. Okay, so I mean, I know I'm, I'm just like showing you examples of the print function, but Print is very useful. I mean, it allows me to show you things and show you how things work. So, I mean, in, if you're making a game, you obviously wouldn't start writing print everywhere because people in the game they don't actually see the word print. They they don't see what you print in the game. So, say this was a mini game script, you'd have it change the map every round. You'd have it count down, like with a hint script. Remember, like last tutorial, I talked about hints. You'd have it count down and do things like that. You wouldn't have it just print. But this is just an example showing you how to use while true do loops, I mean, like while loops. So that is how to use while loops. Let me just stick the word false in there. Um, because now this condition is false, it's not going to run. So the, I mean, while false do, that's just pointless. You, you wouldn't really want to do that because it just skip it. Because the condition will always be false no matter what. So let's go ahead and press play. 
uh, yeah the condition is false it's not printing anything so yeah there's no point of doing while false do I mean while true do is useful for mini games or anything that you want the script to always run for so yeah you understand what while loops are now now let's go on to the second loop which is repeat loops okay so there's a second loop and this the name of this loop is called the repeat loop uh, this does the same thing as the while true do loop it, it keeps looping but it's structured differently it says uh, repeat um, and then at the bottom of it you don't put an end you put until and then you make your comparison until pod is bigger than 10 or something like that okay so let's print pod and let's increment pod making it bigger basically that's what increment means it means just ch making it bigger uh, or making it smaller changing the value okay so we're going to increment pod by one pod equals pod plus one and what it's going to do is it's going to it's going to make the value pod bigger okay so print pod make pod bigger and then until pod is bigger than 10 that's when it's going to stop so what it's going to do is it's going to say repeat oh hold on I've got to pause it a minute so again I'm back now okay so what it's going to do is it's going to say repeat okay we've read the word repeat we know we're in the loop now now we're going to print pod and then we're going to say pod equals pod plus one and then we're going to say okay is pod bigger than 10 um, if pod is bigger than 10 then we're going to break out of the loop if pod is still less than 10 then it's going to repeat so until pod is bigger than 10 it's just going to keep repeating okay so as soon as pod gets bigger than 10 it's going to break the loop so let's go ahead and press play it should print 4 until 10 yep okay so it print 4 until 10 but you may have noticed um, so because I, I didn't put the word equal to 10 as well so why did it print the value 10 like in the while loop if I put um, if pod is bigger than 5 it will only print 1 to 4 and not 5 but I didn't inc include this bigger than or equal to sign here so why did it print the value 10 as well? well that's because in a repeat loop what it does is it doesn't check the value of pod before it starts the loop so no matter what it's always going to run this loop at least once in the code okay whereas with the while loop it checks before you start to run the code so let's go ahead and say is pod bigger than 5 do okay so what it does is let me just put wait in there so it doesn't crash so what it does is it checks the value of pod before it starts the loop but in the repeat it loops first and then checks the value of pod okay so because pod is uh, it says until pod is bigger than 10 when pod is 9 okay so pod is 9 now okay so it's, imagine pod is 9 it's going to say is pod bigger than 10? No, pod is 9, it's less than 10. Loop again. It's going to print pod and uh, then it's going to change the value to 10. Okay? So is pod bigger than 10? No, it's not. It's equal to 10. Hold on. Uh, pod is bigger than 10. Yeah, it's equal to 10, not bigger than 10. So because pod is 10 now, it's going to be equal, not bigger. Therefore, it will loop again until pod is 11. And then it's going to say, OK, we're not going to print pod again. We're going to stop the loop because pod is now bigger than 10. So you'll, you'll kind of get the hang of it when you use these loops. So you use these loops in different circumstances. If you want the code in the loop to run at least one time before breaking out of the loop, you use the repeat until loop. So remember, there's no end or no do in the repeat loop. Just repeat and then until then you check your condition. But if you want the loop to check the condition before running the code inside, then you use the while loop. Then it checks the condition before actually running what's inside this loop. Okay. So those are the two types of loops. Um, next tutorial, I'm going to teach you one the third type of loop. But I mean, this may be a bit trickier than the previous tutorials but it is very useful. So in the next tutorial I'm going to be giving you examples like how you can actually use loops in games. So I'm going to like actually show you physical examples of using loops. So um, I'm just going to go over it one more time. Uh, repeat, it runs at least once, okay, at least once and then it checks. But while loop, it what it does is it checks and then it runs. Okay, so when you experiment with it and when you play around with it 
then you'll start to realize how it actually works you'll realize what symbols to use what operators you want to use if you want to use bigger than if you want to use bigger than or equal to if you want to use less than uh, you can also use equal to but remember you need to put double equals as well because you're making a comparison okay you're not assigning the value 10 to pod you're making a comparison you see if you make if you do one equals it just makes it, it puts a red line underneath it which is an error so you want a double equals because so, you're making a comparison between the variable and this number here okay so you can do the same thing you can say uh, equal to you can put uh, bigger than greater than less than just like you do in if statements um, same thing really yeah so just have a play around with these loops try changing different properties with lo using loops try putting a loop inside an event like when you touch a brick try and make it count down from 10 or something like that um, yeah do all sorts of things with these loops just play around with it you'll get better at it when the more you play with it kind of, yeah um, so yeah, I'll see you in the next tutorial then when I teach you the third type of loop then. Bye.